Um, Logan Tom, I'm an outside hitter and I play for Team USA. Had an off day one summer. I was a I was a tomboy. Played every sport, and one of my friends was going to volleyball camp and, and had nothing else to do, so decided to go. I, I, when I started, I could jump high and hit hard, and I didn't necessarily go in the court. Uh, but the USA volleyball people liked what they saw. I guess the raw talent. I guess, and they thought they could progress it into something better and so they picked me up pretty much right away. I, s I started playing when I was 13, I was with the youth team when I was 14. So it was kind of, it, like it was, a, it was a fast progression, I would say, but... It's changed throughout the years. Um, you know, I think when you're, for me, I can speak personally, when I was a younger athlete it was more of proving myself. Now it's more of um, what I can give kind of thing, whether it's to my teammates. Also, you know what I mean? I'm not a selfless person, I would say, so it's what I what also um, I can give to myself why I'm still doing this. You know, you need a reason to play a sport for so long. And also the people that have supported me throughout the years. You know, and it's, it's a big reason why I still play. The main goal, for, I think, for the entire team is to win gold, for sure. Wearing the USA uniform when you step onto the court, especially at any time, but especially in the Olympics, it's just so huge. Uh, I think you ask any athlete and they have a hard time describing it with words um, because it's a feeling so intense. You know, to actually put words behind it is very difficult. Um, but I think spectators can see it just by looking at the face of the athletes that do it. Have fun with it. Um, you know, and trust your instincts. You know, you have a lot of people out there. I, I, the, the main thing I like, or I see when it comes just to athletes, especially the, the, the top level ones, is they're not all the same. You know, it, it, there's no right technique. There's certain things you can take from it, but everyone has, has their own rhythm to anything in life, you know, especially in sports. You know, so you're gonna have your own rhythm, and so trust that. Thank you. You know, you can't say it. it sounds very, you know, low key to just say thank you, but I, I'm not exactly sure what else to say. Um, they're, they're what keep us going. They've what brought me through the hard times. I could never have done this by myself, you know? So um, they're definitely, they, they're a part of everything we do. And, you know, it's a big reason why we play and why we want to bring home the gold for them. Uh, everyone's. I mean, any kind of medal, of course, is an amazing thing, but it's also bittersweet getting the silver. Um, you know, it, once time kind of passes and you get over the loss, I would say, of it, you know, it becomes definitely, you can see with, you know, a better perspective um, what that holds. And it, it was huge for us, you know, as we, had it, we haven't medaled in years. Um, silver was the best medal we ever got. Of course, we don't love the gold. Luckily, we have another chance, um, but very proud of that medal. Oh, it's cool. I like it. I mean, for me, it's nice because it's close to my home, you know. Um, but no, the, the, the community here supported us very much. Um, we do things with them, um, and they also give us a great place to train. It's also nice training with the men, too, you know, just so we get some kind of camaraderie, something like that. Um, and it, it's nice. It's, you know, it's a great facility. You, you, can, you can see there's a bunch of young kids around here all the time, so it's nice to have that kind of connection.